most people think volcanic eruptions at Yellowstone, they think of the big, huge explosions, right? Like the one that formed the caldera about 631,000 years ago. But that's not the most common form of eruption in Yellowstone. That belongs to lava flows. Yellowstone Monthly Update, September 2025. Lava flows, earthquakes, and rumors of a big eruption. Yellowstone National Park, September 2025. The end of summer in Yellowstone has once again stirred the public imagination with whispers of catastrophe. Viral videos of fleeing wildlife, tremors beneath the surface, and steaming hydrothermal pools ignited speculation that the Yellowstone supervolcano was on the brink of unleashing devastation. But the latest monthly update from the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO paints a more measured, though still fascinating, picture of life above one of the planet's most dynamic underground systems. Ground shaking, a swarm of earthquakes, Throughout August 2025, Yellowstone recorded 90 for earthquakes, a relatively average figure for the world's most seismically active volcanic field. The largest tremor measured magnitude 3.7, located northeast of West Yellowstone, Montana. Dozens of smaller aftershocks followed, rippling quietly beneath the Earth, most too weak to be felt by visitors. These quakes were reminders that Yellowstone is alive beneath the surface where magma, fluids, and gases are constantly on the move. Two. The caldera breeds, a plift returns. For years, Yellowstone has slowly been sinking, a long-term pattern called subsidence. But this summer, the ground changed course. Since late May, GPS instruments across the park have recorded about one centimeter of a plift. Experts attribute this to the seasonal return of groundwater after snowmelt, the Earth's crust responding like a sponge refilling with water. Though some worrying such a plift means magma is pushing its way up, YVO confirms this seasonal rise is well within normal limits and not linked to volcanic unrest. 3 steam and spray, hydrothermal unrest. On August 12th, visitors at Biscuit Basin witnessed something unusual. Black Diamond Pool, a hot spring, suddenly erupted in a small hydrothermal burst. Scientists Muddy stress water that such about swarms one meter are normal three feet and do not suggest an imminent eruption. Cameras and sensors captured the moment in detail, marking it as one of the month's most notable events. Hydrothermal eruptions, while not dangerous at this scale, highlight how volatile and unpredictable Yellowstone's hot water systems can be. They remind scientists that the park is not just about the distant threat of lava, but also about near-surface explosions that have shaped the landscape for thousands of years. Dot 4. Lava flows, not explosions, setting the record straight. This month's official video update, titled Lava Flows in Yellowstone, sought to calm public fears. Yellowstone's most common type of eruption is not an explosive super eruption, but a slow, oozing rhyolite lava flow. 
The last such event occurred about 70,000 years ago, forming massive flows that still dominate parts of the landscape today. Rhyolitic lava is so thick and sticky that it advances only a few hundred feet per day, taking months or even years to cover ground. But scientists emphasize, if Yellowstone erupts again, this is the most likely scenario. Slow, predictable, and confined within the park, not the apocalyptic vision of ash clouds blotting out the sun. Five, the magma cap, Yellowstone's hidden guardian. Adding to this reassurance, new studies in 2025 revealed a surprising discovery. A volatile rich magma cap located about 3.8 kilometers to 0.4 miles beneath the surface. This layer acts like a safety valve, allowing gases to escape gradually. Instead of pressure building toward an explosion, the system breathes steadily. Seismic imaging, using what scientists call tiny artificial earthquakes, confirmed the magma chamber is largely solidified with only partial melt. This finding helps explain why Yellowstone has remained calm for tens of thousands of years, and why fears of a sudden super eruption are exaggerated. 6. Rumors and Reality Bears Social Media and Panis In late summer, dramatic footage of bears running across Yellowstone sparked a wave of online panic. Some insisted the animals sensed an impending eruption. But scientists quickly debunked the theory. No unusual gas emissions were recorded. Seismic activity remained with unexpected levels. Wildlife behavior often changes with weather and human activity, not just geology. Still, the incident underscored how rumors can spread faster than lava, forcing experts to step in repeatedly to separate science from fear